Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Dahlia and Nan. I am trying to do an intro to today's video and Nan, Nan is just ruining it. We'll just, we'll just, me and Ketchup are gonna do it. We're just, okay, ignore Nan in the background. Ignore her. You don't see her. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. You guys can tell what we're working on today. We're working on a strawberry farm, strawberry milk farm for Norma. And Ketchup's excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna have to talk to Nan and get her to, you know, stay on the island because like, what is going on? Anyway, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you do, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. So we're getting right to it. I already started building this area and then time traveled, so um, that's why Norma's house is already there. But initially for this build, I was gonna make, I, I, I don't know, I wanna do something obviously like Norma, cow villager, pink villager. I wanted to do something that represented Norma. And my initial idea was like obviously like a milk farm, but then I'm like, that's kind of boring. I want to do something a little different. And then I was going to do a milkshake shop, kind of like a milkshake restaurant type of, type of thing. And I had everything ready. I even got the build already set up and everything. But then I'm like, oh my God, she's a pink cow strawberry milk farm. I found a custom design for the bottles and everything. It's so insanely cute. I'm obsessed with it. So that's what we went with. So I had to, you know, get rid of everything. I also had to move Norma's house again because it was too close to res services, so I did that. Um, you also see me move around the path a lot in today's video. Couldn't figure out the dynamics, things kept moving. What? Right now I'm placing down the dirt path. This is the path I use for my little strawberry farm. And once again, we do have to be a little creative with the strawberry farm and we're gonna be using the red pansies. Um, as you saw me at the beginning of the video, running over, because that's how you have to um, get the pansies to have the little bud on top of them. Um, but you, you, you have to do that every time. So I'm gonna have to do that every time I see this little area. So like here, I'm doing it again. This is the second time and only time I show you guys me doing this. But look, 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 it takes forever. It's ridiculous. I was getting so frustrated. <laughs> it should not take as long as it does. Uh, yeah, okay, we got it. Star light, star bright, lots, lots of starry stars. Um, then I have that little design thing on like the top right next to Norma's house. I do move it. Um, I realized I was going to put like a bar in there, which we still do because like cow farm, I need to, I need to include a farm, like a, a, a barn, but I need a little field for the cows. So what I'm doing instead is just placing the path here and then I'll be making a little, you know, fake barn the best that I can. I used the silo for the first time on this island. I'm so grateful there's a pink version, but I really wish the top of it was, was white you know, but I'm really grateful because it's a light enough of a pink that I can work with it. I'm still bitter at the fact that there's not a pink storefront. Um, I guess because I haven't decorated with pink, I hadn't realized there wasn't a pink storefront, but there's not. So I use, I use white, which is fine. It's nice to break up the colors and not to have too much pink. Um, however, I'm still a little bitter about it, like just a little bit, but I mean a little, a little, a little, little, small, um, little, little barn. Just, just a little barn, you know, just a little one. And then I have my cows. So I downloaded this custom design that had the cows on the umbrella. Um, this does have a black version and also a pink version, like a pink cow, which obviously would have worked for this build, but it was too vibrant of a pink for me. So I just went with the black ones and it's the cutest thing in the world. I haven't used the umbrella custom designs in such a long time. Ever since we got the 2.0 items, um, I haven't found reasons to use them, um, but I, I needed to. They're so cute. They look like, like, um, like, 
uh, cows you would see in Harvest Moon or in like Story of Seasons, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm obsessed. It's just the cutest thing. It's giving me like Harvest Moon magical melody vibes. Um, if you guys played that game as a kid, um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, and if you are curious about any custom designs I use on this island, everything is linked in my description. It should be up to date with everything I used in this video at least. Um, if there's a couple of codes I don't have, please let me know. Um, and then I downloaded this strawberry milk design, which is so cute. It kind of inspired the build, to be honest. Um, and I'm so happy because I found the creator that made this, and she was actually inspired by um, Grandma Rosie, who is another fellow Animal Crossing content creator um, who I'm friends with on Twitter. And she made it inspired by her. And a lot of the builds I do on this island are inspired inspired by Grandma Rosie because she does Grandma Core so well. Um, so it's just nice to like have everything kind of like circle back, you know? Um, so here I'm, cause like obviously I need an area for the actual selling of the strawberry milk. So I put tons of decorative bottles um, and then the milk cans. I'm going to put those there too and just make it a little like, you know, like milk, milk um, stall. Nothing too fancy. I wanted to keep it very minimal. Um, initially, this was supposed to be like how the 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 um, milkshake um, thing was supposed to be very small, very simple with like a sitting area. So I'm simply just using like the same items I would have used for that build. But now we're doing a strawberry milk stall. It's so cute. It's so cute. I've never done a milk farm or anything like that on any of my islands. So it was about time. And this looks freaking adorable so cute like i'm watching this back and i was as i was editing it i'm like i really killed it with this build <laughs> it's so beautiful um and then to include little more kid core elements i'm throwing down my um my cutout standy or my standy cardboard items so we use like grass standees and then I'll be using some of the tree standees in a little bit um, but I think that the little little um, grass standees look like tufts of grass that you would see in like a field and they look so cute next to the cows I'm just I'm kind of all kinds of obsessed um, so I'm just adding like finishing touches to this little little section um, and really just throwing down you know bits and pieces that makes the area look more full um i wanted to put a little area right next to the strawberry farm to kind of look like you know like little little farm elements so we have like the garden um faucet and then i'll add a couple of more gardening things and then i wanted to put a little sign um, and so I used a little doily design I already had that had the little strawberries on it, which you probably have already seen me use on this island. Um, cause I originally was going to use the milk sign, but it looked kind of awkward on any of the signs I tried to put it on because it's a diamond shape. So instead I went with the little doily and it's adorable and cute and kind of all kinds of perfect. So I'm trying to make use of the custom designs I already have downloaded and tried to make sure that I use them in like a multitude of builds if I can. Um, and this just like, you know, it's kind of perfect. Like I already had this strawberry design. Like why would I download a new one? Um, so right now I went around and planted some trees. We're going to be stunting a couple of trees, um, around the area and throwing down some, um, of the tree standees, like I mentioned before. And I will mention to you right now, my, um, what is it called? Uh, river mouth is directly below this area. I did not think about this when I when I made this space. I was just thinking, oh, I would really love this area to be right next to res services. So what I'm going to have to do is be very creative with my water pathing um, and figure something out. I'm kind of debating making like a very small river going across the front of res services because it's such a small space and then also including um, a little bridge right in front of this space like directly below where the the strawberry farm is. I'm not sure yet but that is the like the first idea that I had um, after I realized that 
I did not take the river mouth into account. Also, can we talk about Norma looking at the anti cash, cash register? She's so cute. She's so cute. So I quickly time traveled to move in the trees and I stunted them all to the, the stages I wanted them. Um, and then I'm planting some flowers. Keep in mind the flowers for this island are mainly pink, yellow, white, and green. Um, so I'm just kind of like throwing them down in random order. Uh, I didn't use a lot of flowers for this build because I had so much pathing and this was more of a build build as opposed to like a transitional space or anything like that and I had like larger sections um, to focus on which I'm not mad at. I think it looks really cute and I'm trying to be more minimal with my flower placement for this island. Um, I actually have to go back still and replace some of the flowers that I already planted in other areas because I think I put too much in certain spots but otherwise I think it's really cute and then just to finish it off I planted in some weeds just so they'll grow to like full height and make the area look a little bigger in the cow field but yeah I quickly time travel to early morning this is the time of day my dream address will most likely be set to and I am obsessed with the way that this area turned out so I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video um, and yeah, without further ado, let's go check out the final build. All right, that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy with the way that this build turned out. And I think it's the perfect mix of like kid core and grandma core and springy and I just I love it so if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications and I will see you all in my next video bye